All right, more free agent moves are coming in. Let's get into it right now. I have some news for you, some signings here. Okay, I gotta, I'm got i going to get you this news right now. Before I do it, heads up, Yoshinobu Yamamoto is officially posted. According to the MLB Trade Rooms.com, he's officially open for business starting tomorrow. 8 p.m. Eastern, and the 45-day period ends January 4th, 5 p.m. Eastern. So that's the period of time that they have. A team has to negotiate with him and come up with a deal. And again, if they can't come up with an agreement or a deal, he goes back to Japan and cannot be posted again until the following year. That's the rules. So, And this is going to be independent of whatever posting fee is, but we're hearing all sorts of things from 8 to 9 to 10 years, in some cases even longer than 10 years. Upwards of at least two hundred million, maybe even higher. So expect a twenty million dollar maximum posting fee. Yeah, but we'll see what happens. But the first piece of news, this right here is Reynaldo Lopez. And this is all MAB Streetbrewers.com as well. The Braves themselves announced that they've added him to fortify their bullpen. They've already made multiple moves too, but they're giving him a three year thirty million dollar contract. Okay. Four million and twenty four, eleven million and twenty five, and eleven million and twenty six. Okay, and is it, there's also an $8 million club option for 2027 or a $4 million buyout. So it's $30 million complete guarantee. Remember, they've already added Aaron Bummer in trade. They've also added um, Joe Jimenez for three years and $26 million, and Pierce Johnson as well. And they also traded for Jackson Kowar. So they have fortified their bullpen. They really, really have. Okay, and so congratulations to the Braves. I do expect them to add a starting pitcher. I do expect him to add a starting pitcher. This right here is Lance Lynn. Okay, he's the other piece of news. The St. Louis Cardinals have added him on a one-year deal. It's one year with a club option for 2025. This is Jeff Passan, ESPN reporting this. Okay, it's a eleven a ten million dollar deal, uh, and it looks like a an option for thir- uh, an option for thirteen million uh, for 2023 or a three million dollar buyout. So he's going to get about $24 million guaranteed or something like that. So um, it's actually $11 million value in 2025. So he's got, an, uh, he's got a one-year deal and a, and a second option, or a second-year option. So they're actually adding a starting pitcher. And I don't think this is going to be the only move that the Cardinals make. He's an innings eater. Okay, he was 13-11 this year. And I'll give you a breakdown of his stats here. 13-11 with a 5.73 ERA. Okay. And he's also 136 and 95 in his career with a career 374 ERA. But this guy's known as an innings eater, as a workhorse. The Cardinals need multiple pitchers. This is going to be one of them, and I expect them to probably trade for another one, maybe two. But they need multiple arms. And a little bit of stat, a little bit of stat news on um, <clears throat> Ronaldo Lopez: three and seven, one three twenty seven ERA, thirty nine and forty nine in his career, forty thirty two ERA, four thirty two ERA. So we have a mid uh, middle relief pitcher here. And again, when you add him to the higher end guy was Aaron Bummer. So, but they have completely fortified their bullpen with five moves this offseason. So, the Braves are definitely an eye. And again, like, like I said, I expect them to add a starting pitcher too. So, they're definitely going to make a run for a deep pro season run, and hopefully a championship, uh, a championship on their part. So, we'll see what happens. But that's the Braves news. That's the Cardinals news. Okay, make sure if you, for some reason, you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit that button before you leave. And if you do hit the button, hit the notification bell as well. I thank you. That makes sure that you're in the front of the line when the content comes in, the news comes in. Okay? Yamamoto, open for business starting tomorrow morning. See you next time.